Hello, everybody. It's Social Traffic Lab. This is Kevin. I'm not sure how the sound's going to be because I'm in my great room at the counter here, but I just want to record a short video, kind of just filling you in on the power of rich snippets. Um, we sent out an email earlier today with a somewhat boring, especially boring for Spencer video, um, and hopefully this video is shorter and kind of gives you more of an insight as far as how those are used for local listings. What I'm looking at right now is a listing for Copper Onion Restaurant here in Salt Lake City. Really good restaurant. We really like it. Um, and I just actually noticed tonight that this is an unclaimed Google Places listing. But they have 55 reviews, four stars, um, and then something else here. And what really ties this into the rich snippets is if we go down and look at the reviews, we, we scroll down through these reviews, and you can see where the reviews are coming from. So 54 came from Google itself, 61 are, are from Urban Spoon, and 39 are from Zagat. So the ones that they list up here, the 55 reviews, those are Google reviews, but they are actually linking out to other reviews like from Urban Spoon. Um, if you go over to Urban Spoon, so I clicked on this link and brought it up in another tab, we can see the Copper Onion listing on Urban Spoon. Um, <clears throat> And it has, actually, they say 103 reviews here. Um, and it has, you know, the critic reviews, the latest tweets, the blogger reviews, the actual diner reviews. <coughs> and what's really interesting is now, when you take this link, this URL, for uh, the listing on Urban Spoon, and you put that into the Webmaster Tools for Rich Snippets. So this is the Rich Snippets testing tool that the other video showed. Um, and we can see what the listing would look like in Google search. So 84% rating, 804 votes, uh, price range of $15 to $25 per entree. So you're getting all kinds of additional details that you wouldn't normally get in a regular listing with a star rating, which we saw in the other plugin that we promoted um, a while ago. Uh, but you also get all this extra rich snippets data. And this is where Google Places is getting this information from. The information that we saw over here on Google Places, this wasn't entered in by the business owner. This was pulled from other sites using rich snippets. So um, it pulled informa uh, reservation information from Open Table. It pulled the menu from singlepage.com. Um, and it pulled in the reviews from a number of different places. This Diner's Choice, Best American Food, Diner's Choice Fit for Foodies. That came from Open Table. So you can see where the, the different things are coming from. And it's coming from rich snippets data. So that's why. Rich snippets data is super powerful. Um, so hopefully that fills you in. You can see, you know, you know, go out and, and look at our Urban Spoon or some other uh, local um, listing or restaurant uh, thing, and you can actually look at the um, the micro data, the data from the rich snippets within the the testing tool that Google provides, and you can see all the additional information that you can provide, including map data. And this goes, uh, this map data actually gets into the, what we talked about, the KML file. So really cool stuff. I really think that if you're doing any kind of local search optimization or any kind of product uh, promotion as well, because you can actually do product reviews and product information. I'm actually looking at using it with discount card stock for uh, all of our product details as far as price and size and all that type of stuff um, within our discount card stock site as well. So really cool plugin. Really, uh, I think it'll be helpful if you're doing any kind of local search optimization or any kind of rich snippet op optimization, which I think is going to be really important um, post Panda and, and going forward as SEO really evolves here in the short term. Thanks a lot.